Hey guys, it's Tabletop Beast, and in today's video, we're going to be covering one of the most controversial Superman feats because a lot of people like to downplay him because of his feet with the whole speck of dust claim. We're going to go into depth about it. All right, so jumping right into it, this scientist managed to put a black hole into this device. His only purpose was to gather memories of people. For example, right here, this black hole took the memories of this person that put it inside of that device and completely wiped his memory. This black hole also managed to kill him and everybody that was on this planet. Now this black hole before even coming to our solar system already destroyed other solar systems. So even as a speck of dust, this black hole is no ordinary black hole as it was capable of destroying entire solar systems now when people debunk this you never see them bring up this scan indicating one they didn't read the comic book and two they're just getting scans off of google trying to debunk superman well you might be asking yourself how can a speck of dust black hole have a great gravitational pull now the device that was holding the black hole is holding its gravitational pull which is still great but it's being contained now you can see Adam saying that his suit is increasing his mass and density because of the powerful gravitational pull that he's coming up against. Now this black hole also had the ability to wipe people's memories. As you can see here, Jon Stewart forgot what a power ring was and he was about to die into the flash saved him. This is another scan that people have to skip over. Um, now Adam is saying that what's keeping the black hole in check is this magnetic field. So as of right now, the black hole is still in its magnetic field. And when it gets released, that's when problems are gonna start happening. And this is when I think people stop reading. They see that Adam says speck of dust, like, oh, Superman's only holding a speck of dust, but actually the black hole expands on his hand, which we will go over. Now, this is right after Adam called the black hole a speck of dust. Once again, the only thing that's keeping this black hole from causing real problems is this magnetic field. And Superman actually is gonna be the one that triggers the black hole from escaping. Now the reason why Batman said bye bye solar system because if this black hole escapes its magnetic field obviously damage is going to happen. And I already proved earlier that this black hole already destroyed other solar systems. Now here is Superman triggering the black hole from escaping this magnetic field. He's showing pinpoint accuracy with his heat vision on a microscopic level while being attacked by both Firestorm and Wonder Woman. Both of them had their memories wiped by the black hole, and that's why they're attacking him. Even with both of them distracting him, he still is able to show pinpoint accuracy. Now you can see Madawin, aka the black hole, crying about his memories being taken away from him. Now this is the fun part. Superman puts his hand around the black hole. Now the black hole is not out of its magnetic field yet, but it's getting there and it will. Now Superman says the pressure is unbelievable because the black hole is constantly getting stronger as it's constantly escaping its magnetic field and it does get out of this magnetic field again and it starts to expand. Now for the people that don't believe that the black hole expands, keep watching the video. This actually is the next time we see Superman, he's not freaking out over the black hole yet. Once again, down players, they love to skip over the scan. He's actually doing fine right now. Now this is when the black hole is completely expanding. It's out of its magnetic field and Superman is starting to feel that gravitational pull. And now Madeline, the black hole, is starting to flood Superman's brains with all of the planets he destroyed, trying to make Superman let go of him. It's not just Krypton that the black hole is making Superman see. It's literally all the planets, those solar systems that have been destroyed. Superman is seeing that. Now, Madeline is putting all of these memories into Superman's head because he wants him to let go. Now, a very stupid argument I always hear, people will say, well, Superman said it was too much for him. Okay, just because you doubt yourself doesn't mean you can't do something. I'm pretty sure we have all once doubted ourselves before and did what we said we couldn't do. And Superman literally carried this black hole from the watchtower to deep space. He's holding it, he did not let it go, even with all the memories rushing through his head. I just think that's a really stupid argument. Oh, he said he couldn't do it. Just because you say you couldn't do something, doesn't mean you can't. And he was holding this black hole the whole time. Now, I've also heard people say, well, Superman was only holding a good portion of the black hole. No, 
because the black hole is completely escaped its magnetic field. That's why Adam is telling them to make a magnetic field only strong enough to allow Superman to throw it into the wormhole. Why would you make a magnetic field on top of a magnetic field when the original magnetic field was already holding it perfectly fine? I know it was destroyed, but still, that's just common sense. And this also proves that Superman was indeed fighting the full force of the gravitational pull. Now, when Superman throws a device, the black hole literally becomes the size of the damn wormhole. Once again, indicating that Superman was holding more than just a speck of dust. There is literally no way you can downplay this unless you tell me that wormholes have the ability to turn yellow whenever they want to. Now this is when it gets a little confusing, but remember, Madowin is a synthetic life form. He's a living black hole, which is pretty weird. Now the blue waves we are seeing here is actually the exit point of the wormhole because remember the entry point is where Superman and Jon Stewart were. And if you don't believe what I said, you can see Adam telling Jon Stewart that Madeline will be in a far reaches of space because you know wormholes have a entry point and exit point. The entry and exit points are very far from each other. Madeline's gravitational pull is now gone. He's literally become one with the recording device. Which explains why the recording device can move wherever it wants to because Madeline is the one controlling it. He's literally become one with the recording device. And just a little fun fact before I go. Superman actually said when Madeline was flushing the memories in his brain, he actually destroyed a galaxy. Once again, proving that this black hole is at least solar system to even higher. Before I go, I just want to let you guys know that me and Dave are going to be collabing on another debunk video. So stay tuned for that. We've been also been working on to improve the mics for you guys to enjoy the videos. I'll leave a link to his page in the description. Check him out. He's pretty awesome. All right, guys, that's it for me. Peace out.